My coverage of CES 2019 is brought to you by Corsair. Check the description down below to learn more. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. And wrapping up our first few days of CES coverage, I wanted to show you something that I saw over at the Cooler Master Suite. And it's something that I've been pumped about for a while now, ever since they got it fully kickstarted a few months back. And that is called the Control Pad. It is a 24 key programmable analog numpad that you can completely switch up and use for gaming, photo editing, video editing, anything like that. And as you guys do on the channel, I always try to find stuff like this that you can use for just tons of different things. That's why I love like macro pads and things. But here, fully programmable and it's analog, so it's pressure sensitive. This is really unlike anything out there right now. So at first glance, it looks like, you know, a standard numpad that you'd see out there, but that's pretty much where the similarities end because it's fully brushed aluminum, so it's nice and solid. It comes with a detachable uh, wrist rest here, which is like a rubber padding on top. It's magnetic, so it snaps into place, and it has full RGB lighting underneath. In terms of the switches, um, I think this it's gonna come out in two different variants, with a cherry red option as well as a Gateron red option. And they went with red switches because that's much more suited for an analog key press like this. With, you know, blues and stuff, you have that tactile response, so it wouldn't work too well. So as I said before, it is a 24 key layout. On top of the devices, you'll see there are these two like scrolling knobs. One is for adjusting volume, and the other is gonna be completely, you know, up to you to change up and program in their software. Whether you want it to be, you know, zooming in and out, or maybe like scrolling up and down. Say you're using this with like Photoshop or something like that, you can have this quickly um, adjust the size of like your brush or something. And where it all starts to tie itself together, like I said before with like Photoshop, video editing, photo editing, Premiere, is gonna be then with the different key caps that they're gonna have available. So the blank ones that they come with are just pretty standard. They're labeled like one to 24 for all the keys. But they're gonna be making some that are coming in different colors. Um, I have it up right here. Like the blue one's gonna be available for Photoshop. And that has your, you know, your different tools and commands that you would use in that. So you have the blue ones here. They're gonna have like an orange one for Adobe Illustrator, a purple one for Adobe Premiere. And again, all those different programs are gonna be represented by the different, you know, like characters and stuff on these keycaps. So the pen tool, you know, text, cloning, eyedropper tool. So I think it's a really great idea because there is nothing like this out there right now. There is no programmable numpad that is completely analog that you can use for tons of different things, program it to be really whatever you want for whatever sort of program, and then have different keycaps that's available that you can go and really have a visual representation of what you're pressing in game or you know in the certain program you're using. I don't know if there's a price set on this yet. I'm not 100% sure. It's still good. it's still like you know being developed fully. It's still pretty much a uh, a prototype right now, but it was fully funded on Kickstarter, so I'm pumped to get my hands on it. Hopefully that's soon, but I just think it would be a great fit for the channel and a great fit for a lot of you guys out there looking for something like this. And they had a lot of other things on display, but the other stuff that stuck out to me was their new keyboards. They have a really nice lineup of these really low profile keyboards. The SK651, which is a full size. The SK631, which is a 10 keyless. And then an SK621, which is a 65 key keyboard. So these low profile mechanical keyboards, are starting, you're starting to see a lot of them more now on the market. And what's cool is since they are so, you know, thin, it makes it more compact, more suited for like a nice office workspace or your desktop. Kind of know like how the Apple Magic keyboard is so popular, kind of like that, but these are our fully mechanical. They are using the newer Cherry uh, low profile switch. So it's one of the first out there again to integrate that in a low profile keyboard. And you also have full RGB backlighting. In terms of battery life, they're designed to get 15 hours wireless in RGB and up to four or five months with the lighting turned off, which is pretty damn good. So I figured for a little cooler master wrap up, those are kind of the things that I think you guys would be most interested in. I know when I did a low profile keyboard video a few months ago, it did very well. So showing off those three upcoming ones is pretty cool. Plus that control pad, which I'm really pumped to get my hands on. So I want to make a quick little video, show you guys that stuff and give you an idea of what's coming up in the next few months. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Got a lot of other CES videos coming up on the channel as well. I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.